It's no secret that Red Bull's driver turnover is as fast, if not faster, than the cars. This season seems to be proving no different, with their sister team, Alpha Tauri, looking set to axe their newest driver, Nick De Vries. And with Helmut Marco, known as the most feared and revered in an F1 paddock, at both teams' helms, we wouldn't be surprised if De Vries was shaking in his racing boots. But is his driver's seat as under threat as the media is making it out to be? And if so, who's set to take over Nick's seat? Despite being a champion in both Formula 2 and Formula E, Nick De Vries' accomplishments in those series did not directly lead to his breakthrough in Formula 1. However, De Vries is familiar with facing challenges and has experienced moments of struggling under the pressure during his earlier years in the feeder series. De Vries emerged during a period when Lewis Hamilton, who became a champion in only his second year in Formula 1, had set an incredibly high standard for rookies to meet. This created a significant benchmark for De Vries as he progressed through the ranks of motorsport. Following Alex Albon's hospitalization due to appendicitis, Nick De Vries found himself unexpectedly thrust into action at Monza. He was quickly called upon to join the Williams team and swiftly prepared to compete for the remainder of the weekend, making his unexpected but highly anticipated Formula 1 debut. De Vries seized the opportunity with great determination and achieved points finish at Monza. Despite driving an uncompetitive Williams car, his impressive performance caught the attention of several teams, and he ultimately made the decision to join the Red Bull family. He replaced Pierre Gasly at Alpha Tauri, becoming a part of their driver lineup. A conversation with Max Verstappen during a dinner the night after the race sparked discussions with Helmut Marko, leading to meetings about a potential switch to Red Bull. Now, De Vries is gearing up to fulfill his childhood dream as he prepares to join his new team and contribute to the resurgence on the grid after a challenging 2022 season. But this stroke of good fortune now seems to be showing some cracks, and the reality of the miracle has sunk in. De Vries seems to be encountering difficulties on Formula 1 circuits. The Dutch driver had two crashes and finished 14th in two races, with an 18th place at the Miami Grand Prix. So far this season, he's one of only two drivers who have not scored any points. Given De Vries' recent struggles, there is speculation that he could be replaced, with Danny Rick being the primary candidate that comes to mind. In the initial stages of the season, Nick De Vries has been outperformed by his teammate Yuki Tsunoda, and he has faced challenges in adapting to the AT04 car, resulting in several notable mistakes. The distance to teammate Yuki Tsunoda, who is doing a great job, is too big. To use football jargon, Nick got the yellow card, but not the red yet. If he improves, a driver change will not be an issue, said Marco. Following the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Nick De Vries expressed self-criticism regarding his performance. The Dutch driver acknowledged that there are specific scenarios where he feels the need to improve. Starting 18th on the grid, De Vries finished the race in 14th position and engaged in on-track battles during the latter stages of the event. I'm personally not satisfied with my own job at the start of the race, nor the safety car restart, De Vries told media. I look at myself and I think I need to do those start of the race scenarios a bit better. Following an impressive performance and earning valuable points for Williams at his Formula 1 debut during the 2022 Italian Grand Prix, De Vries quickly caught the attention of Marco, who promptly secured him a spot alongside Yuki Tsunoda in Alpha Tauri's second seat. Unfortunately, De Vries seems to have fallen short of Marco's high expectations leading to reports suggesting that the Austrian is planning to part ways with him after just five races into the 2023 season. According to Marco, the head of Red Bull's junior driver program, if Nick De Vries fails to perform, Red Bull's priority would be to replace him with their own young talent rather than considering Daniel Ricciardo. Marco specifically mentioned Liam Lawson and Ayumu Iwasa as potential candidates from their pool of junior drivers. Ricardo, according to Marco, is not under consideration in this scenario. Despite Alpha Tauri's car being widely regarded as one of the weaker ones on the grid, Yuki Tsunoda has showcased impressive consistency throughout the season. His constant performances have played a significant role in contributing to the team's points total. De Vries reflected on first hearing about Marco's threat. Here I am, a handful of races into my F1 career, and I'm being asked about the end. The worst part of that day, though, was finding out there was some truth to the rumors. Nothing will happen in the next three races, says Marco. 
We spoke to DeVries and he agrees with us. He needs to improve. The distance to teammate Yuki Tsunoda, who is doing a great job, is too big. To use footballer jargon, Nick got the yellow card but not the red yet. If he improves, a driver change won't be an issue. But if the young driver doesn't rise to the pressure, where will Marco and Alpha Tauri look? Apparently, Mick Schumacher, who finds himself without a seat this season, will not be included in the potential shortlist for the seat. He's a Mercedes driver and he's not in our plans, Marco said. Toto Wolff is responsible for him. Fans of Honey Badger Daniel Ricciardo will be hoping that he might be given the seat, especially seeing as he's already in the team family. Plus, with Sergio Perez's contract set to expire in 2024, Ricciardo might now be considering that position. Nonetheless, a former team owner has stated firmly that Ricciardo will be unable to match Perez's outstanding performance, and Marco seems to have been just as brutally honest. Here at Race Point, though, we're still at a loss for the immediate dismissal of having Danny get the seat. Let us know in the comments why you think Danny Rick won't be given the opportunity. But if Danny's not set to fill the spot, then who is? Marco subsequently disclosed that Red Bull is considering turning to their pool of junior drivers to replace Nick De Vries, and one of the top contenders for the seat is the highly regarded Liam Lawson. If the worst comes to worse, we would fall back on our pool of young talent, Marco added. It's specifically about Liam Lawson and Ayumu Iwasa. Liam Lawson is widely considered the front runner for the seat, primarily due to his position as Red Bull's official reserve driver. The New Zealander has made an impressive impact in Super Formula this year, showcasing his exceptional skills. Lawson has been a part of the Red Bull program since 2019, and at the age of just 21, has already proven himself a highly capable driver for Formula One. Notably, he won his debut race in Super Formula and achieved a commendable third-place finish in Formula 2 standings last season, underscoring his natural talent and potential. Ayumu Iwasa is another compelling option as a replacement for Nick De Vries, and he could potentially be Honda's preferred choice if Red Bull decides to part ways with the Dutch driver. Iwasa's inclusion would create an all-Japanese lineup at Alpha Tauri alongside Sonoda, which would be highly desirable for Honda. Currently holding the third position in the Formula 2 standings, Iwasa has already achieved multiple victories this season. Furthermore, he is the highest-placed Red Bull junior driver in the championship. At 21 years old, Iwasa has demonstrated remarkable pace throughout the season, making him a contender who could potentially challenge Sonoda in a short span of time. De Vries still has an opportunity for course correction ahead of him. Despite the initial impressions, as long as he remains in the car, there is still a chance for him to uncover additional performance and leave no room for doubt regarding his case for a long-term future with Red Bull in Formula 1. But Marco has given Nick De Vries an ultimatum, granting him three races to demonstrate improvement or face the possibility of being replaced during the season. The upcoming races in Monaco, Spain and Canada will determine whether De Vries can meet the expectations set for him. It's true that De Vries' time on the current F1 grid is ticking away faster than his car. We'll be standing by to report on the outcome. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let us know in the comments what you think of having Danny Ricardo replace De Vries.